economic growth and it's stealing every single day from all of us. Yeah, and yeah. that's what today's march is all about. Today's march is about starting to take power back and giving it back to the people of South Africa where it belongs. Power not to the government, power to the people. Power not to the government, power to the people. Power not to the government, power to the people. Because that's where it belongs, in a democracy, in the hands of you, the people. And that's why we have today in these library gardens at Latuli House. Now let me tell you, we've had to deal the last two weeks since we announced the march with the pearl clutches and those in the media who are squeamish when the DA stands up and takes a stand on behalf of South Africans. And the airways have been full of it. Why are you going to the Tuli House? Why don't you march to Eskom, to Megawatt Park? Why don't you march to Nursa? And my answer is simple. When you have a problem, you go to the root cause of the problem and you address it at the root cause of the problem. We don't have an Eskom problem. We don't have a Mercer problem. We've got a PNC problem in South Africa. And that's why we're here. That's why we're not wasting our time at the Union Buildings or Megawatt Park. We're coming right to the source. And we tell those pearl clutches and the screaming, screamish people who are wondering why we're all here today, Democrats that you only need to look at this house behind us. That is ground zero of the crisis in South Africa. Yeah, yeah. That is ground zero of the corruption crisis in South Africa. That is ground zero of the catered employment problem in South Africa. That is ground zero for the poverty crisis that we have in South Africa. Because it is in that criminal house where the tenders were dished out for Madupi and Kusile. It's where the Hitachi deal was hatched, where the ANC, through Chancellor House, made millions and millions of rand on your expense. Not money for Eskom, not money for the government, money for the ANC. They have profited of the suffering of the people of this country, and we're here today to say, so far and no further. Never again, and not in our name, will you continue to rob, will you continue to steal, and will you continue to let us suffer as you and your corrupt, inept comrades carry on. And colleagues, friends, Democrats, South Africans, I'm here to say to you today as well, we are not going to accept an 18.65% increase and a 12% increase next year. And that spineless man who sits in that house there, who a week ago told us, my hands are tied, I can't do anything. There's only one place his hands should be tied, and that's behind his back. That's where they should be tied. And let me tell you this as well. I'm calling upon all South Africans to make today the beginning. This is not the end, this is the beginning of rolling mass action peaceful rolling mass action across the country because that is the only language that these people in the Tuli House understand. If they think that we are going to sit back and just accept the premium that we must now pay for their corruption, their maladministration, their catered deployment, we are here as South Africans to say no, no, no. We are not paying one more cent for your corruption. We're not paying one more cent for your mismanagement. But you know what's also fundamentally dishonest? And why are we here today as well? It's because the president and the ministers do not care. And you know why they do not care about load shedding? Do you know why they don't care about 18.65%? Because they don't pay. You pay for the electricity. They don't pay for electricity in their homes. They don't have to worry about 18.65%. And they don't have to worry about load shedding either. Because uh, Minister Galil has given all of the ministers generators in their homes. So they don't feel load shedding. And who's paying for it? Who's paying for it? We are paying for it. The people are paying for the generators and we're paying for the diesel so that those ministers can sit and not be affected by load shedding. And when you ask them, they say, well, a minister's work is 24 hours a day. We need to be available. And I say to you, what about the hospitals? 
What about the old age homes? What about our children's future? What about our schools? Why is it all right for us to go through load shedding, but it's not good enough for you to go to load shedding? And so we're saying to South Africa today, rise up South Africa. The more we sit back and take it, the more they're going to make us pay and the more they're going to laugh at us. They've abused this country and abused the people of South Africa for too long. And the message that's going out today from this march, to every single corner of South Africa, to every municipality, to every single little dusty town or rural village across the length and breadth of South Africa, is it doesn't have to be this way. There are ways and solutions, and we put them on the table many times for government, but they don't want to listen. We've raised them in Parliament, they don't want to listen. We've raised them in family meetings with the President, he doesn't want to listen. And so that's why we have today at the TV House to make sure that they hear us loud and clear. Loud and clear. It doesn't have to be this way because they have cut your power, but South Africa, we're going to get a great chance to cut their power. And we're going to do that in every by-election between now and election day. And we're going to march determinedly and keep this momentum that we've seen today. And we're going to sweep like a wave of change across every breadth and length of South Africa into every home that's going to say there is change, there is hope, and the hope lies with the DA and power lies in your vote. And we're going to take back power across South Africa. Democrats, are you with me? Yeah! South Africa, are you with me? Yeah! The march starts today, it lasts all the way through to election day. Wherever you are, whatever your political persuasion, whether you've sat at home for the last 20 years, for goodness sake, South Africa, it's time to stand up now and use your democracy because it could be the last time you get a chance to use it. South Africa, we can do this if we stand together. We can bring the change. We can be the change. But let's stand shoulder to shoulder and let's march determinately from here today across to our homes and our towns and wherever we've come from today and take the message. Change is coming. It's coming fast and it's coming quickly. And if you want to see what that change looks like, where are my mayors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the people that are already bringing change to where they are governing in their country. These are the people that are on the front lines every day fighting for better services for the people. The city of Cape Town and the Jordan Hill Lewis yesterday announced that it will be the first city in the country where we will buy electricity from the people. If that's not giving power back to the people, I don't know what is. So Democrats, we're not red South Africans, we're not blue South Africans, we're not green South Africans. We are South Africans first and foremost.